When it came time to do Pocahontas, I thought, well, this is going to be a really challenging story because it's very different than all the others. This is not a fairy tale. There was a real girl who was buried in England named Pocahontas. And you take it seriously that what you're going to draw becomes the, um, it becomes the established version of that character for generations to come. I mean, when you think of the beast, you think of Disney's beast. You don't think of all the other versions that, that might have looked like a bear or, or something else. But when you think of the Little Mermaid, you think of Disney's Little Mermaid. So the first thing I did is I thought, well, gee, I wonder if somebody has done a drawing of Pocahontas already. And sure enough, somebody had, and here it is. See, obviously Pocahontas is a very attractive looking woman here. <laughs> All we had to do was just go ahead and paint the cell now. She can say, oh, hello, John Smith, I love you. Oh, she... <laughs> We're all ready, set to go. So what I'd like to do now is, is just show you a drawing. When I did Ariel, she was kind of your girl next door kind of a look, a very Disney kind of a character. The turned up nose, actually I designed her based on my wife, has very much this kind of a look without the fins. <laughs> I better do a good drawing, I'll be in hot water with Ariel here. Now, Ariel's eyes were big and expressive, big super hair. I don't know why I get all these characters with long hair, the beast and Pocahontas and Ariel, and I don't have much at all. I'm jealous while I'm animating. <laughs> so, so here you, you can see Ariel in a very rough, kind of a quick sketch. Now, Pocahontas, as an ethnic person, I mean, somebody whose design should be very different than the, the Caucasian kind of a look, Just about in every area of design, she's the opposite of Ariel. Instead of a very high forehead like Ariel, Pocahontas has a lower forehead, more of an Asian kind of a look. Instead of these big eyes, her eyes are very narrow. They're straighter, slightly angled. Where Ariel's chin comes in here, I mean cheek comes in, Pocahontas's goes out. Where Ariel's Eyes, eyebrows are very arched, Pocahontas's are more flat. Where Ariel's nose curves up, Pocahontas's is straight and actually curves in a little bit. Where Ariel's mouth curves up, Pocahontas's goes the opposite direction. Maybe with a little curve at the end just to, to take some of the, so she's not too fierce. But this girl is a very proud, strong Indian, a princess. The design of Pocahontas and Ariel are very different, just like as the story is. This story is probably the most subtle in terms of animation and expression that we've ever done. Uh, we're constantly questioning, are we really up to doing this? And every week we find that we, we, we've accomplished something that we didn't think we could possibly have done. I can't wait for you to, you, for you to see this film. Anyway, so that's my little rough indication of Pocahontas. Just one last thing. I want to go back to that original uh, drawing of Pocahontas. I thought it would be interesting to take a look at, at her one more time. And, and I did a drawing over top to see just how historically accurate we ended up being with our design. And so I, did, I think the guy was a better drawing maps than, than people in this case. So I adjusted Pocahontas slightly over there. And you can see. We are historically accurate in this film, if anybody asks. <laughs>